Hi there, I'm with Fighting Pride, my name's Emily Clark and I'm here at Manchester Piccadilly where Tyson Fury is going to do a meet and greet with the fans. I don't know about you, but I think he is one of the most controversial fighters of our time and I am so interested to hear what he's going to say. So stay tuned, get locked down, we are going to have an epic night. Now, Neil, who do you think would win between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury? <sighs> Gotta be close. You're the well, first one that said that. I don't want to see what he's back, like back at his fighting with. You don't want to say it, but actually, Anthony Joshua. I think I can see it in your eyes. You do. You think Anthony Joshua, don't you? He's gonna have his hands full, but it'll be a good fight. I'm here with Clive. Hi, Clive. Hi. How, How are, are you feeling this evening? Yeah, very excited to see Tyson. Uh, and, and me. And of course yourself. Yeah. So rude. Anthony Joshua, Tyson Fury. Who do you think would win? Fury out there. Don't like Anthony Joshua. Why don't you like Anthony Joshua? He's boring. How is he, thinks, he thinks he's too much of himself. His fight's never the to what you think. I think he's really hungry. Went down, it went down in his last fight. Between Anthony Joshua and Tyson Fury, who do you think would win? Joshua. Joshua. All around, what? yeah. All and you? I think that Anthony Joshua can do it. Okay. If he gets inside of inside of Fury. Fury is um, an unorthodox fighter, so if you can pick him off, and get inside of him that way, he could, he could probably upset Anthony Joshua himself. Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury, who do you think would win? I think Tyson Fury will win it. Because why? I think if Tyson Fury gets on better form, his speed, his accuracy for a big man, uh, will, will always overcome power. Who do you think Anthony Joshua is going to fight next? Uh, I don't know who he's going to fight. I don't think he's going to take the Wilder fight. Anthony Joshua and Wilder, who do you think would win on that fight? Mm, that's a bit harder. Uh, it'd be a good fight, but I, I would say Wilder's going to win. Because Wilder's just that stuff here. Yeah, he's got the angriness in him. Joshua's too technical. Okay. Uh, I disagree, but all right. Okay, what about Anthony Joshua and Wilder? What do you think about that fight? Joshua. Joshua. They are both good fighters. Both up and coming fighters, um, two different styles together, but interesting when they come together. I think it went really well. I think Tyson Fury was very open, very honest, very frank. Uh, it was it was inspiring, um, and it was just nice for him to just say how it was. Money's not his motivation. He said he just wants to come and fight, um, and he's very down to earth. He wants to tell people, look, I'm happy, um, and and so I like the interview. I, th I think the crowd. Uh, got what they wanted and they, they were satisfied. Really well. Yeah, that, that's why I asked him. I said, "Are you surprised at the reaction from the public uh, and how it's turned around?" He said, "Yeah, but you know what? He's grown up. Yeah, he's matured. He's grown up." Which is well, nice. we're all doing that though, aren't we? I wish I could stop time. Some of us go, some of us go great. Some of us go bald. So, I <laughs> well, which one's which? I know. But Anthony Joshua versus Tyson Fury. Who do you think would win? I, you, Listen, I would say right now, Anthony Joshua, because Tyson yeah. Fury's not a boxer for two and a half years. So we can talk about what he's done, what he's achieved, mm -hmm. but until he boxes on June the 9th, then let's talk about that. That's the question we can ask. So what's the next two fights you think he should take, apart from the, June the 9th? I think... Well, what, what, well who's going to fight on June the 9th? Because that yeah, hasn't been announced yet, right. has it? So it's about... Well, I think June the 9th is about him getting out, mm -hmm. just, to, just to shake the cobbles off. Yeah. Then if he gets an opponent that's on the fringes, a bit of a tester, you know, then we'll see then. And I think so. It's about matchmaking is as important as as his progression as well. So we'll see. We'll see how they match. You haven't given me names. I give you no. You're not going to. No, Would no. you get in the ring with him? Uh, if I was 20 years younger. Ah, yeah. oh, you don't need to be 20 years I'm younger. You man. do so I'm well. Old man. I'm an old man. It's been an absolute pleasure, Thank ladies you. and gentlemen, Johnny Nelson. Thank you. So as always, we are the last ones to leave here at Fighting Pride, but you know how we do. We have had an absolutely amazing evening. Tyson Fury has been on point as always. Now the next events to watch out for are Groves and Skulls right here at Manchester Piccadilly. We're looking forward to seeing you very, very soon.